Hello artists, it's fun to see you again. Today we're gonna to do an art project that's making a jack-o'-lantern. It's gonna be Halloween this week, so I thought that would be fun to draw. And you get to choose how you do your eyes and your mouth. Won't that be fun? So you will need a paper and a pencil and either marker or crayons. And I've got included in your paperwork the step-by-step -step guide. So we're going to start with the shape really big on the paper and putting the stem on and the lines. Now that shows form in art. That shows that it's dimensional. And so let's get started. That's a good idea to practice with your finger making a very big pumpkin. Now it's not a perfect circle. It kind of comes down like the top of a heart. So practice that a few times. And then when you feel ready, take your pencil and let's jump in. Draw as big as you can on the page. It's more fun to have a nice big pumpkin. I'm gonna leave a little spot there for my stem to come up. Did you make it so big? Excellent. Now I'm gonna put the stem in. I'm gonna kind of curve it to the side. Great. Now our lines that show the curves on it kind of reminds me of the lines on a basketball or the lines on a beach ball. They curve around. On the left side, they curve like a letter C. And on the uh, right side, they curve like a backwards letter C. So let's give that a try. That work out for you? Curves this way on the left and this way on the right. Now it's the time to decide what kind of eyes and mouth you want to have. Here's this example here. I am going to do a triangle facing up and I'm going to put the pupil like that I'm going to do a nose that's an upside down triangle And then I'm going to do a mouth that has a few teeth. Now I'm going to stop to put some color on. And I'm going to do black inside of the eyes. I'm going to use marker. You could also use crayons. If you had the fatter markers, that would go much faster. I just have the skinny ones. And also inside of the nose and the mouth. 
That's the part that you carve out and take out all the seeds. So it makes a shadow inside. And do you ever put a candle inside your pumpkins? You put them on the front porch? That's fun to do. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to move on to the pumpkin. I'm going to even curve my line as I color in. Now this is going to take a while, but it's going to look so awesome. I bet a lot of you have some pumpkins that you have been carving and putting out to decorate your house inside or out. Now, after you do all of that, if you are still having fun and wanna to continue to draw, you could draw some grass here. I'm going to do it in crayon because it's faster. And some grass, I mean some sky. And if you would like, you could add a cloud and a moon. And the more color you put on, see if I go way darker, then it looks more like it's very dark at night. Oh, we need to do our stem, don't we? Let's get in a green stem here. So I hope that gives you a good project for this week. Happy Halloween to all of you. Bye-bye.